Well, guys, Illinois, the state of Illinois, is looking to become the abortion capital of America. I've been covering this on my channel here, guys, really since the beginning of the year when, when New York first announced their extreme abortion legislation. But ever since then, states have been trying to top New York to try to get the top honor of being the biggest supporter of abortion. And now it looks like Illinois has the next one that's thrown their name into the hat. But they really want to be the mecca of abortion in America. And really for underage abortion as well. I'm going to explain and break this all down for you here, guys. But this bill, unlike other ones, even has extra added stipulations and measures on it that even New York and Vermont and New Mexico didn't even have on their bills, okay? But this bill for Illinois would require all private health insurance policies, okay? Private health insurance policies would be, re would be required to cover abortions, and that includes, you guessed it, churches and other religious organizations. They would be responsible and have to cover abortions, okay? The fetus, the embryo, fertilized egg would have no rights whatsoever. Abortions, they would be able, they would be legal all the way up until the moment of birth. We've heard that one before. Doctors would not be criminalized for giving abortions. Okay, that is going to repeal an old law from 1975. Okay, that one will be gone. Kids will not have to get consent from their parents to have an abortion. They will not need their permission. Consent will be a thing of the past. So you could be as young as 11 years old, if you, if you get pregnant and you want to have an abortion, you will be able to do so without needing to get consent from your parents. Husbands, boyfriends, whatever the case may be in that situation, uh, they will not, the wives will not have to consult with the husbands in order to get an abortion. They can get that on their own, thus giving the man absolutely no rights at all in the case if they don't want the woman to have the abortion. Also, doctors would not be the only ones that would be authorized to handle the abortions. Abortions could be handled by anybody, okay? Any sort of a nurse or any sort of a, a medical person would be allowed to give the abortion. Basically, you could have the abortion anywhere, okay? There would be no restrictions on where you could have the abortion. So guys, that's, that's really the gist of, of the main points here. I'm gonna put an article in the description. It'll show you more of the bill and what's in it. But I mean, this is getting to a point now where it's like, how much longer can we just shake our fist at God? How much longer can liberals, how much longer can Democrats continue to shake their fists at God in this sick act of abortion where it's going beyond? Remember they used to call it safe, rare, and legal, what they used to call abortion, okay? Well, now it's becoming unsafe often and absolutely ludicrous is what it's, it's, what it's becoming. You know, it's funny because all this is falling on the eve of a day of mourning, which is going to be on Saturday, February the 23rd, okay? Where it's a day of mourning for all babies that have been aborted. It's a chance for people to repent, to ask God for forgiveness for what they've done. And it's funny that this news is just coming out on the eve of the day of mourning. God hears the cries of the blood of the unborn. He is not pleased. I've been saying that, guys. I've also been covering states that are protecting life and protecting the unborn. And I'm going to continue to do that as well while also letting you guys know about the states that are enacting extreme abortion legislation. Illinois, you may in fact win when this is all said and done. Um, and this is just sad. This is just, it's truly a sad day in the country. Uh, it really is. I don't know how much further uh, this will continue to go uh, before God's wrath is released on those who cause harm to the unborn. We're in the last days, guys. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. As always, I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about Illinois' new bill that could be passed? It hasn't passed yet, but it's on the table, and I'm afraid that it could, in fact, pass. Sound off down below, guys. I appreciate all the support. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Please give this video a like. Also, share this video with your friends and family. That always helps me out a great deal. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.